This is Colin with Maker Farm. This video, I'm going to show you how to wire your electronics for your TiVo tarantula. To wire the electronics in your tarantula, there is a wiring diagram in your guide. Um, it is a good thing to use as a reference. I'm going to show you in the video, but some of the things may be easier to look at the wiring diagram. You'll notice that is the USB connector. On the way I'm going to wire mine, it is this direction. The first thing I'm going to wire is the X end stop. This is the end step that's on the X carriage. If you go ahead and get that wire, we're going to run that wire with that connector down into the first blue port that is on the right if your USB connector is on the right. Later on, we're going to go and zip tie that to our PTFE tube. Next, I'm going to wire the Z end stop, which is going to go in the very right yellow port closest to the USB connector. And then the last is going to be the Y end stop that is back by the Y motor that is going to be in the right red port on our electronics. Now grab your LCD. We're going to plug that in next. If you notice, you're going to have a cable labeled EXP1 and EXP2. EXP1 will plug into your electronics into the port that is labeled EXP1, which is the one on the left. Then the other cable, which is labeled EXP2 on the LCD, you'll plug it into the EXP2 port on your electronics. Next, we're going to go ahead and do the wires that are on our X carriage. We have our hot end heater, we have the hot end fan, and we also have our thermistor for the hot end. The black wire with the small yellow connector is our thermistor. And that will get plugged in to the yellow port on our electronics. This packet of wires plugs into your heat bed. And at the end of it, you're going to have a yellow wire. That is our heat bed thermistor, which will plug into the red port. Now, the other two wires that are on that heat bed connector, there's a red one and there's a black one. Those are going to go into your electronics right here. One of them is labeled on the circuit board minus. That is your black wire. The other one is labeled plus. That is your red wire. Sometimes to make it easier, you do need to actually squish that little brass connector that's supposed to go into those um, screw terminals to get them to actually fit. Or I've also had it in the past where I've actually cut off the brass terminal. I've removed some insulation. I've wrapped the wires around each other, the two black wires together, and then I've added some solder to it so that it would be smaller and be able to fit into that connector. Now we're going to go back to the X carriage and we're going to wire the hot end heater wires. It is the two red wires. You're going to want to strip some insulation off of both of those. Usually after I strip the insulation off, I do like to twist the wire together. And then sometimes I'll even fold it over on itself so it's about twice as thick. That just makes it a little bit easier to get it into the screw terminal. When you do install it in the screw terminal, it doesn't matter which red wire goes into which hole. Since it's a heater, it doesn't have polarity, so you can't connect it wrong. And these two will go into the far left ports on the electronics. Next, we are going to wire the motors. There's a bundle of wires that looks like this. That is for all of your motors. There are four cables. Two of them are long. Two of them are short typically plug the short ones into the extruder motor 
and the X motor and the long ones in the other two. I'm starting with the extruder motor. It's going to plug into the motor and then on your electronics it's going to say E0 or you can also refer to your wiring diagram for any of these. Next is the Z motor with a long cable and that's going to go into the port on your electronics labeled Z. Now we're going to get a short cable that is going to go into the X motor and into the X port on our electronics. And then the last one will be the Y motor, which is at the back of our machine. And that will plug into the port on our electronics labeled Y. Now we're going to wire power to our electronics. And at the same time, we're actually also going to wire our fans. We have two fans. We have one on this acrylic piece that we installed earlier. We have another fan which is currently connected to our hot end. If you can strip some wire or some insulation off of the wires for both of those fans, we are going to splice those wires onto the big red and black wires that we installed in our power supply. This way when we turn on our power supply, both of those fans should run 100% of the time. If you ever turn on your printer and either of those fans are not running, make sure you do not use your printer, do not heat it up, um, or that will just basically cause problems for you in the future. So here I'm splicing together the fan wire for the hot end and the fan wire for the electronics cooling. Once I get those, then I'm going to go ahead and take the red ones from the fans and just wrap it around the red wire for the power supply. If you do have a soldering iron, you can solder these together as well. It's always a good idea. Just don't make that connector too bulky or you'll have a hard time installing it in the screw terminals. When you install these wires into the screw terminals, they are labeled on the electronics. One has a minus by it, which is your black wires. The other one has a plus, which is your red wires.